gas and coffee, two most important things right now. We just had a delicious breakfast um, of eggs on toast, which I haven't had in a long time. You know, my usual thing with uh, spinach and the tomatoes and um, that I made a lot in the vlogs previously. Um, haven't had that in a long time and it was really good. Sorry I keep moving, I'm just trying to get to my desk here. And now we are just getting set up to, ooh, crazy here, um, record the book club announcement. We have picked a book for our first book club. So excited. If you guys didn't see that community post, um, we are starting a book club where I do a video every month of a book that um, we read together. Again, nobody's obligated to read the book, but if you want to, you can. And then we have a ton of errands to run today. So that is our day. We're going to get moving. We're going to record that. And then we're going to head out to run our errands. And I'm going to take you guys along. The peril of being short. <laughs> you fit in the car well, but you still have to duck coming in the door. Okay, so let's head off to our errands. First task is getting gas. And then we have a couple of stores to hit and a couple other things we're doing today. We're going to be out for a while. So it's going to be a fun day out of errands with you guys. I know a lot of my vlogs have been shopping vlogs lately, and I'm sorry about that. But you guys seem to enjoy them, so that's good. Um, it's just been a lot of what I've been doing lately. And I'm actually recording another video while I'm out as well. That is a shopping vlog, but it's a very special shopping vlog because of the time of year. Hint, hint. Let's go. Oh, yeah. And coffee. <laughs> Gas and coffee. Two most important things right now. Coffee has been acquired. I got the caramel brulee drink. Which is all right. Not the best. I did get whipped cream this time though, so hopefully that'll help when that melts in. Um, yeah, I don't think I like the brulee part, but we'll drink it. It's also red cup day, so I got a free cup. Unintentionally got a free cup. I knew it was red cup day, didn't really care. Because 
why why it's just a red cup there's i just i don't care <laughs> like it's not that big of a deal so now we're gonna run our first errand we're gonna go into target this shadow is really driving me crazy this is not a very good angle but let's try not to get the lady in the shot um so our first stop is target because i want to get a few things i'll explain when we're in the store what i'm looking for but uh it's beauty products so um yeah i've turned into that person <laughs> where I'm going to be going to buy beauty products. It's not like makeup or anything. I still refuse to wear makeup, but there's just a few things that I want to get to kind of continue my doing things for myself, wearing things for myself, um, styling myself the way I want and not for anybody else kind of thing that was going on in my winter wardrobe video. So I'm just kind of continuing that. Okay, so first thing I'm looking for is um, something to put in my hair so that I can style it to kind of lay forward rather than back because I think that not only gives me body but it just makes it look better. I just feel like that's a better look for me. Um, but I am extremely naive when it comes to hair products so I don't quite know what I'm looking for. I have a feeling that I need something like mousse or you know some kind of setting gel or something like that but I usually don't like putting that stuff in my hair because it makes my hair feel really weird but we're gonna give it a try but I am so incredibly out of my league here okay so I didn't get a chance to say this in the start because it was just crazy because I was trying to find a cheap pack of chapstick you know like a variety pack kind of thing and oh my god this is such a bad angle but anyway and I could not find it so um yeah, I kind of forgot I was recording. So here is what I got. This is the hair stuff I got. It's Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Freeze Free Curl Mousse. It's a mouthful. With Silk Protein. It says Moisture Lock and Curl Define for curly styles and wash and goes, which is what I do. Um, so I'm hoping that this will help me just kind of style it forward a little bit to give me some volume and also to kind of deal with this whole thing here. And just because I like the style better. That wasn't that expensive. I think it was like, I don't even know. Let's see. <clears throat> $8.49. So that wasn't that bad for something I don't know if I'm going to love. Um, I got a variety pack of perfumes because I'm trying to I'm trying to find my signature scent basically and that goes along with the whole redoing my wardrobe and like finding my self-worth and doing things for me kind of thing I want to find my signature scent because I'm looking for a perfume that is feminine but not overly feminine like I wanted to have masculine hints because the, I'm just not overly feminine and like I don't want to smell like a freaking flower garden or <laughs> you know what I mean so this one has five different types. We've got whipped almond, cloud musk, sparkling hibiscus, coconut palm, and vanilla bourbon. And since I don't really know what I want, I thought a variety pack might be good. It was in like the stocking stuffer aisle in Target. So we're going to try that. Um, but it's mixed bar. I was originally going to get refinery and they did have a variety pack as well. But mixed bar was cheaper, quite a lot cheaper. And um, I did try on some of the uh, sample refinery perfumes and I liked them at first but then the more you wore them the more they smelled like bug spray so that kind of turned me off so I thought I would try mix bar see how that goes it's really a trial and error because I really have no idea um what kind of perfume I would want because I'm not really a perfume person usually but I feel like I want to start wearing it so and then I got just a couple of things for work I got a couple of sugar cookie vaselines also in the stocking stuffer stuff i got them to put in the register at work because we don't have any and we were just talking about it yesterday and i got this for the register at work as well um apple and cinnamon bark hand lotion because again we don't have any uh that's calling me hold on so yeah anyway <laughs> that was just confirming that they have med mischief's medication which i have to go pick up a little bit later um but yes yeah, so that's what i got and i spent $33.98, which is, I mean, a lot, honestly, considering how much money I've spent recently, but some of it, like the, um, the Vaseline and the hand cream is for all of us in the department. So, um, it's not just for me. So our next stop is just a couple of doors down. We're going to go back to Bosca's because I have that, um, shirt that was in my video with the like floral, like flared out sleeves that I said, I don't know why I didn't get it. 
I have it on hold. So I'm going to go get it. And then I'm also going to look at a couple other things that are on clearance. And I think I'm also possibly going to get those skinny jeans again. Um, I want to try them on again and try on a couple other kinds. Um, but yeah, that's my plan at Boscov's. Let's head over there, get that done. And then I probably should just go get the medication, get that over with, and then do the rest of my errands after that. Because I have an appointment at 1 and it is now 11. So, you know, we're, we're kind of pushing it. So we shall see what time it is when we get out of Boscov's. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I think I have to get these jeans. Receiving, please dial 1278. Receiving 1278. Kristen, please take the call on star 3, 1501. Like, if not, they're a little long. But, oh, they look so good. Like, look, look at that. I never would have gone for skinny jeans. Never. A skinny jeans person now. Okay, so I found a few short sleeve shirts. Um, and I love the color of this one. Oops, let me zoom out. I love the color of this one. And I love the little details. So I think this one's a yes. I kind of like this one. Um, I think I would have to get a 2X, being that it's a little tight. I do like the neckline for sure. I love the colors. I love the like little flare at the bottom. Um, but I definitely think I would have to get a 2X. It's a little too tight in the stomach. And this one is a no. <laughs> it is not my style in the slightest. new nails um you know it's funny it's after you pay that you see all the flaws there's some spots focus see where like he didn't get the nail polish and like you can see if you look at my cuticles focus um there's still some separation that really should not be there after a fill but they are festive they are shorter, so I can actually use my hands. This hand's a little bit better. It's the right hand that he did kind of sloppy, but. Um, so they're gonna go for as long as I can make them go, and then I think I will go still going elsewhere. I gave the viola voila, however the heck you say it. I think voila sounds better, but I think it's viola. Anyway, I gave them a second chance because I asked around other places and they either couldn't get me in for like a month or they wouldn't answer my emails or they were rude so I just couldn't figure out where I wanted to go in such a short period of time so I gave this place a second chance and while they are better they did listen to what I wanted they're not perfect and there is some issues that is really bothering me like the separation between the cuticle and the nail that should not be there so nail appointment is done so now I have to head over to the vet and get mischief's medication. There's a lot of built up acrylic underneath too. Anyway, for his appointment. Yeah, see now, now the left hand is longer than the right hand. Why can't they figure out how to do this? Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe they look fine. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna obsess over them. They're cute, they're done. I am gonna go finish the rest of my stuff for the day. Mischief Medicine acquired and they freaking charged me two dollars extra because one time I came and got Mischief's food and they charged me 37 instead of 39 which I think I actually vlogged last time I got food here and so I walk in there like oh you gotta pay two bucks because we didn't charge you right really you freaking messed up the charge and I have to pay for it that's ridiculous but anyway, if they weren't the only freaking cat vet here, I would go somewhere else. But he's set. He's got his gabapentin for his anxiety so he can go to his appointment next week. And I asked them to give me a ballpark price. And <laughs> pets are not cheap, y'all. But he hasn't gone in quite a long time. So um, we're going to get him in and get him looked at and everything. And we'll do his nails another time because they won't do that anymore in the same appointment. They used to do it same appointment so I didn't have to drug him up twice. 
and they won't do it same appointment anymore so I'll just wait until he absolutely has no choice and he needs them done because I'm not doing that to him so close together I don't like giving him the gabapentin in the first place because it makes him you know basically drugged out and unaware and like dizzy and stuff and I don't I don't like doing that to him but he won't get checked out if I don't so I don't really have a choice when it comes to his health but his nails are um Siamese nails so they're very thin and and fragile and like they'll come off really easily when he scratches his scratching post so I'm not too concerned about the fact that he does, he's not going to get his nails done we'll do that when he is absolutely desperate to get them done yeah I'm definitely not going back to that nail salon y'all I'm really ble I'm bleeding right now look at that I'm bleeding it's not focusing look at that I'm bleeding they cut my finger what the f I'll bleep that out but I don't swear so you know how pissed off I am right now that freaking hurts god damn it I am never going back to that place never going back to viola nail lounge and i suggest anybody who's local does not go there either i don't usually like doing that to businesses but come on twice in a row you've messed stuff up and this time you make me bleed no no do not go to viola in new hartford do not go but anyway i'm going to freaking stew while i drive and sing rock music at the top of my lungs to get over this because I am very pissed right now and I'll see you guys at the grocery store. later and I am getting ready to lay down and do my reading for the night but before I do that I thought perhaps we would open up the perfumes and give them a quick sniff see if we like them see which one we want to wear to work tomorrow um, and let you guys know my review of the scents all right so we have five different samples and the light is really reflecting but we've got whipped almond cloud musk sparkling hibiscus, coconut palm, and vanilla bourbon. 
I still think I'm gonna start with this one because I just feel like it's gonna be a really nice scent. First thing I can tell you I don't like about the sample package is there's no tops on little spray bottles. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna store them. I'm probably just gonna have to put them back in the box, but it's very, very subtle, which is nice. But I think it's just a little too much of the vanilla and not enough of the bourbon. Oh, now I'm getting some notes. Okay, that's not bad. I, I don't hate it. It's a little bit more fruity, flowery than I was looking for, but it's not bad. Let's try the whipped almond next. Hmm. That one's not bad. It's a little, little bug spray-y, but not nearly as bad as that other thing I tried. So that's not bad. I don't mind that one. Um, cloud musk. It takes a while to really get the scent. This one doesn't really smell like much. No, that one doesn't really smell like much. So I don't know how I feel about that one. Coconut palm. Not a huge fan of coconut, um, but I have been kind of exploring it more the, recently. Yeah, I'm not really, not, the coconut's not the best either. So we got hibiscus as the last one. Now all these scents are gonna be mixing in my bedroom. Okay. So as expected, hibiscus is very floral, floral. But I don't think it's too much. Like I said, I want something that's not completely floral. So honestly, I think I am correct that the vanilla bourbon is the best one. The whipped almond was pretty good too, though. Let's, let's try that whipped almond again. I do really like the whipped almond. And it only has feminine notes, but it's not too, you know, fruity or anything like that. So I think whipped almond and vanilla bourbon, yeah. I think those are my favorites. Vanilla bourbon and whipped almond. I think whipped almond is good when I want like more of a strong scent and the vanilla bourbon is a very subtle scent. So I think those two are my favorite. I'm gonna use them all, obviously. Um, and if I wanna be a little bit more feminine and you know, fl floral, then I have the sparkling hibiscus. The coconut palm and the cloud musk don't smell like much of anything. So those will probably be the last ones I use because they just, they don't really attract me. Um, when they don't smell like anything. Oh, okay. Now that I resprayed the coconut. I can smell it. However, it doesn't smell like coconut. It smells like bug spray. So the coconut one will definitely be one of the last ones I reach for. Let me respray the cloud musk. Maybe I just didn't spray it enough. Cloud musk is very, very subtle, but I do smell more of it this time. And it's definitely very like cologne versus perfume. So, I mean, I will use that one as well, but it's definitely gonna be like after the almonds and the vanilla. I think the coconut will be the absolute last one I ever use because it's just, it's too bug spray reminiscent. <laughs> um, so I think it'll probably be, um, the vanilla and the almond will be my primary ones. And then I will probably go for like, cloud musk for every day and then hibiscus if I want to be a little bit more floral and then coconut it'll just be to use it up so I definitely like the scents I don't think mix bar is necessarily going to be my end all be all because I'm sure there's probably better stuff out there but for the time being while I'm exploring what I want to be my signature scent I think these work pretty good so if you are trying to find that out, definitely head over to Walmart in the stocking stuffer section and get yourself a variety pack of these little spray bottles so that you don't spend too much and end up not liking the scent. I don't know whether I'll go with the whipped almond or the vanilla bourbon tomorrow for work. I feel like I want to kind of go bold and go with the whipped almond, but then on the other hand, I do have coworkers I have to think about and customers. I don't want it to be too strong. I think maybe we'll see how we're feeling in the morning when we get ready and then we'll go from there. I'm going to get to my reading. Um, tonight for reading, I am reading the 
book club book and then I'm gonna use my lovely Kindle which if you didn't see that video there are my stickers on my Kindle it's kind of hard to see I'm in the middle of invisible by Joey Paul which it's not really showing up very well but I will link it down below. Hey guys, I don't know how good this audio is going to be because I don't have my microphone out, but I, I really explained this book very poorly, but it is an in the future dystopian, differently abled character story about basically the world ending and it's about the survivor's stories. It's really good and it's very hard to put down. I highly recommend it. And it is from one of my lovely subscribers here on YouTube who also has her own YouTube, which I will also link down below. Um, you guys see her commenting on my videos all the time and uh, I was supposed to read it as an arc and review it when release day came around but I was behind and I'm still behind on my arc reads because of the job so I'm catching up so I'm going to read that and read our book club book and have a very fun relaxing evening. To a wireless utopia where you'll experience unparalleled coverage on America's smart network. Well, today did not go according to plan because I spent most of the day waiting for the darn maintenance man. I basically just read like 60 pages of Joey's book and did a little client work and now I'm headed off to work but I'm going to do a quick stop at the post office to check my P.O. box to see if you lovely people sent me anything. Which by the way, if you guys ever do send me anything and you don't see me mention it in a video, just give me a heads up, let me know there's something in my P.O. box because I'm only checking it like every couple of weeks because I want to check it a bunch of times and not have to bring anything in there. I am uh, gonna go do that and then head off to work, usual four to nine shift. And then I don't know what we're gonna do when we get home. Probably edit, start editing a vlog. Probably this vlog, quite frankly, which is not all that exciting and I apologize for that. But like I said today, just did not go according to plan. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. But we're not gonna sign off just yet because I wanna go see if there's anything in the PO box. And if there is, of course, I'll share it with you guys. So let's head off on this gloomy, rainy day over to the post office before going to work. And uh, really hope there's something in there, even if it's just a little card or something, because I just, I look forward to getting receiving stuff from people. I don't know why. It's my love language, I guess. No, actually, my love language is giving gifts. But I like getting them, too. So let's go see if there's anything for me to smile about. That was a bust. A whole lot of nothing in the P.O. box. But that's okay. It's fairly new. And I'm sure I'll get something at some point. So if you guys want to send me anything, letters, cards, anything you want to send me, stuff you want promoted on my YouTube, I'll definitely look it over and let you know. P.O. Box and all that information is down below in the description at all times. So feel free to shoot over some stuff if you like. I'm a little sad, but it's okay. Since it's still got like 45 minutes before I have to be at work, I think I'm going to go get a coffee because I did earn a free one. I probably won't be able to finish it before work, obviously, but I mean, it's not like it's going to get warm. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really feeling the Christmas flavors. So I don't know if I'm gonna bother with that or if I'm just gonna get like a caramel macchiato. All right, let's take a sip of this caramel macchiato. Whew, that is strong, folks. I just wanted to quickly end this video because I gotta head over to work. I just wanted to show you guys, this is the outfit I chose for the day. I can't get out because it's pouring but it's the new black and white and gray shirt and just gray pants. Nothing fantastic, but I thought it was nice because my nails are red, so it's a nice contrast. Um, aside from that freaking Band-Aid from where I'm bleeding, we're not gonna talk about that anymore. We're just never gonna go there again. And I also decided, which I really, I am loving it. I decided to wear the vanilla bourbon perfume today. And I think I love it even more now that it's on me, which is a good sign. Um, we'll see what other people think because I'm going to ask my coworkers because they've been helping me kind of figure out this whole thing and help. they've been helping me with the clothes and everything too, which is just so nice of them. So I'm going to see what they think, but I really do like the smell of it. So I think that's probably going to end up being the winner, um, but we're going to wait until we try them all, use them all, and then we'll decide from there. And I also did use the mousse I bought last night on my hair and it didn't really, it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. So my plan was I wanted it all to kind of like fall forward so that there was more here. And it works while my hair is wet, but as soon as it completely dries, it all just kind of falls wherever it wants to. I do sort of still like what the product did um, because it does make my hair a bit poofier and kind of um, 
changes up the style a little bit. Like there's still curls, but it's more of a wave. So I don't know, I'll probably still use it. Maybe it's just because I just started using it. I don't know, but we shall see. Um, I'm gonna end up keep going like that at work anyway, because I always do. <sighs> I don't know, we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep exploring these new things and our new look and our new way of doing things and see where it ends up. So I'm glad I'm taking you guys along. And if you enjoyed this video as mundane as it was, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you want to hit subscribe, I'm only four subscribers away from 500 subscribers and being able to record the Q&A. I am so excited. I just want those four subscribers because it's like torture waiting for it. But um, if you want to hit subscribe and get me closer, then hit that down below, hit that notification bell. And if you want, ask me any questions for the 500 subscriber Q&A, anything you want to know about my life, my work, anything, ask it. And if I can answer it, I will. So. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.